trying to go natural. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm happy to be back. <laughs> yeah. This is a new one. I don't do this often, I guess. I'm outside of the shower. I'm gonna deep condition here. Just because today I wanna do a brain out for you guys and I don't wanna move locations because I'm too lazy and I don't wanna be wet moving equipment, so. Anyway, so I'm gonna deep condition outside. I shampooed my hair. Today I'm bringing to you the new collection as promised from Ujui. <laughs> so yeah, the almond coconut collection. I did get everything which I will show you guys, but for now, for today, I'm gonna to be using the deep conditioner, the leave-in and the souffle. So this is my hair freshly shampooed and I'm going to add the deep conditioner. So I do prefer to deep condition and in the shower just because my hair is kind of wiry and doesn't absorb water and soaking wet is better. Like there's soaking wet and there's dry for my hair. Basically, I don't have like a in between as you can probably see just water on top of the strand. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna to try to make this work. <laughs> So I totally shampooed my hair a million times, like twice, but real twice for like 10 minutes each. So let's see what this deep conditioner can really do. Using the almond coconut moisture mask. Right away I love the color and texture, it's kind of like a pinkish, you know I like my little, give me a kind of pastelish color. Mm. Smells like a nice lotion, nice whipped consistency as well, so I'm looking forward to getting it on. I can feel it kind of melting into my hair, which I like. Mm. Always a worry after you shampoo how soon it's going to get to feeling conditioned and not shampooed, especially if you kind of clarify, but this is like immediately working for me. So yeah. So let's see if I maybe use less <laughs> deep conditioner with this, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but <laughs> Kind of the whole semi-dry thing. I'm gonna use less deep conditioner or more. Either way, my hair is looking good and feeling good. I'm liking the slip. My hair is dry than normal, so I'm probably gonna be wet as needed. But the slip, but the slip is nice for sure. So this is it. Definitely looking good, feeling good. Has a slightly more buttery feel than I'm used to, and it does have shea butter, but it also penetrates really well. So I guess if you like butters, if you don't like butters, this could be the best of both worlds in terms of a deep conditioner with butters that penetrate. And the shea butter is low down as well in the ingredients. So, yeah, light buttery feel, but still penetrated before it sit and feeling moisturizing already. So let me let it sit. <laughs> this is how much I use, which I guess is like half. Half is still in the about regular range for me. So. Letting it sit, I'll come back and show you the result. And I'm back after letting it sit. As you can see, the magic has a good <sighs> Deep conditioning for me is everything. Like without deep conditioning, I don't know what my hair would do because this is what brings my hair to life. As you, as you can see, it's fluffy, it's moisturized, it's light, it's soft. Slip is there, come through slip. So yeah. Very happy with my hair right now. And now we get to the struggle bit. <laughs> Me trying to do a braid out. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna flat braid because I just, you know, I want my life to be relatively easy. So I'm just gonna do like single braids and just, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect for me to show you how the product worked because my hair really <laughs> does well despite my struggles. My hair really does well with braid outs and twist outs. So. You'll see the definition and stuff even if it's, even if, no matter what I do, basically. So I'm gonna rinse and get to braiding. <laughs> see you in a bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. Okay, so this is where we get into the super awkward phase, but <laughs> anyway, it'll work out. Okay. So I just rinsed the deep conditioner. Of course, my hair is still feeling soft, moisturized. Yay, yummy. And now I'm going to apply the leave-in. Just almond coconut leave-in conditioner. I guess all the essentials you need in the name, I guess. <laughs> okay, so first of all, it's mm, on the thick side, but still runny, still flowing. But definitely thick and creamy. But not too thick. Like, not like, uh, I don't like thick leave-in thick. Just a thicker, lotion-y leave-in. Mm. 
Let's see what the slip is like. Yes, yes, yes. Slip is good. My hair does feel moisturized. I can, I think, still feel the butters, but again, I think the butters are low down in the ingredients list. So overall, I'm expecting good things. So I'm going to section for my first braid. <laughs> yes, we're doing this. And I'm gonna apply the souffle there, I think. Or should I just apply it here and then? Your braiders tell me. <laughs> Your braiders and twisters tell me what I should do. Um, I think I'm just gonna apply the souffle here and then and probably just put a little bit more as needed in the individual ones. Because this is already a pretty small section for me. And I do remember some twisters laughing at me and saying my twists take forever to do because I put in a styling product in like the little bitty sections, like the twist section. So I'm gonna do it in this big section. So we have the almond coconut twisting souffle. So I'm kind of excited to be using a twisting souffle because I don't know often. Usually I twist with just a butter, pretty much something with no hole. Because I don't really like to use gel when I'm twisting and braiding. So something that is a creamish thingy but has a little bit of hold is kind of a nice win-win. So let's see what we get here. Ooh. So this is the consistency. My finger in it already. Um, I like it. It's kind of like a light, kind of almost marshmallowy type consistency. It has a very light sweet scent. Can't even tell you what, but light sweet scent. I can feel the little bit of whole product and I can feel the creaminess. And let's go. I think you definitely don't want to be too heavy handed with this. Because I can feel it doing things already. Good things, but like, you don't need a lot. Probably going to comb it to distribute. And this is a pretty wide two comb as you can see, so it's like a loose distribution. But it's enough to just be sure I have it everywhere because my hair is thick and, you know, thick hair problems. Alright. Alright, so now without further ado, I'm going to get into the braiding part. One day, one day I'll come on here and just show you all a bomb braid out with no struggle. So Ujubi was kind enough to send me this collection after I requested it for you guys so I'll be able to show you the new stuff since I had bought the old line. Um, and I did get a gel also, but I figured while we're quarantining I might as well be adventurous and do a braid out. I can always show you guys a wash and go anytime. So that's what we're doing here. So I'm going to do I guess the first... Still feels like hardly any hair, but it always feels that way. Um, so it is still on the tiny side, this braid. I wonder if I could do a braid twain or whatever. <laughs> so I'm not feeling to struggle to lose this out. It might be a good day to try a twain. What do y'all think? Twaining. I just did one <laughs> five minutes later and hands tied and everything. <laughs> Tweed is looking good. I guess I'll just twist this end. So I still have them into the hairdresser. Mostly I want to just shorten the back so that it's more even for twist outs and braid outs. But we'll just go with what we got here for today. Alright, one. A twid. <laughs> Yay, I'm kind of proud. Give me a moment. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, my twid. All right, one.
side. That's it, section one. Okay, so I'll come back <laughs> and show you guys the rest and the take down. Yay! <laughs> I'm doing something trendy with. <laughs> well, I mean trendy like two months ago. I don't know, but anyway, we do it. Okay, I'm back. I think an hour and a half later. Um, you don't look at that one. <laughs> but yeah, it looks super cute if I must say so myself. I know to most people it's like, what is this? But this is probably the best braiding, twinning I've ever done. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Um, look shiny, moisturized, and and I'm looking forward to my results. But I'm gonna do an experimental tune. So I do want to like just go to a stylist and get the back cut because the back shrinks more, so it's even for a wash and go. But I want to do more braids and stuff, so I want to just cut it. I could just like snap it off now, but <laughs> trying to not do that and kind of get it professionally cut. But until then, I'm just gonna probably band to not the bottom. Didn't mean to exactly do it now, but I guess no time like the present. So definitely with the leave-in, a little bit went a long way or a fair way because I'm not even halfway through. And of course with the butters and everything, it was softening, but it was still penetrating and moisturizing. My hair definitely feels good. And definitely a little goes a long way with the souffle as you can see, which I guess is to be expected if you're using an over leave-in. But I'm still pleased because of course like, you know, with the gel I would probably use more in a wash and go. So maybe to a safe product too, I guess, but definitely a little went a long way with this at least for me because it just looks kind of almost barely touched. But it did give me moisture and hold, so I'm looking forward to my result. Of course I am going to work out on this at least twice probably before I show you the results so it's going to be worked out on but other than that yeah you should still be able to see something something so yeah wish me luck take down coming up next <laughs> so I'm back next day I did work out um, but it held up really well it looks I mean for me super neat <laughs> Disclaimer, disclaimer. Even the parts that kind of, I really didn't twist it at all and it's separated, it still is defined. Like, how does that even happen? Like, you know, I totally didn't twist it tight, but it's still defined. So it's like almost impossible to fail with these. <laughs> so anyway, I'm nervous, but I'm gonna go ahead and take them down. The pantalettes in the back are most likely wet, and I probably will leave them in. We'll see how that goes. Let's see how this goes. I have my little oil mix. I'm just gonna oil my hands and get to it. <laughs> Should I start in the, people start in the front or the back for these things? I'm gonna start in the back. I don't know why. Be a rebel without a cause. Y'all know I don't like to separate, so most likely I wouldn't be separating. I know I should try one these days, but let me just get the actual installing and taking down part together <laughs> and then I'll get to separating okay disclaimer so I like I mean for me I always do, do it really big in the back like you know if it's in the back it don't count I can't see <laughs> so the back is easiest to take down right now so far it's feeling really defined like I don't like I said I don't usually use any kind of whole product so even a twisting souffle is more whole than I usually use when I'm braiding or twisting so I'm just like woo that is the fine. See that? <laughs> okay, I keep going. For my hair, it's probably best to leave it two days just for it to dry. Unless I go under the dryer and I haven't really tried like doing that. Like I like the fact that I can usually air dry my twists and stuff. It just takes like two days my hair to dry. I'll show a little porosity. So when I get the chance to avoid it, I do. I'm probably going to have to separate this, like if I wanted to go anywhere, because it's just so defined, like so much hold, I guess. I mean, it's still soft, definitely soft, but it's like so defined. <laughs> like a medium hole, I guess. Not crunchy, but Everything is holding together. I love how easy these twigs are to take down because you know it's just easy to get the bottom out. <laughs> I 
I feel like I did them kind of big in a sense. Like it's not hard to take down at all. Maybe it's the whole tweet thing, but I'm loving how easy it is to take down. I will say you get a little more shrinkage than if you just did a braid. So if you get a little shrinkage from your twist outs, the tweed will have more shrinkage, but more shrinkage and way easier to take down. I think I would go with the shrinkage. You'll see how I'm just taking this out any old, old how because it's like frizz what frizz. I'm just like ripping it apart and it's like holding up. So I'm like not even worried about it, which is like awesome. I have to admit this is my least careful take down you wouldn't even be able to tell from the result. I did a pretty good job I have to say. I mean for me <laughs> with these um, tweeds. But the control that you get from using like a twisting souffle that gives you a bit of clumping and hole and stuff does make it easier to braid and twist than if you're using something with no that doesn't give any definition. I will say that. So I learned that much from this experiment. <laughs> I'm like, I twisted it in such a mess, but it's still gonna come out good. Are you guys seeing that? Just like ripping apart. <laughs> it's like, what furs are you talking about? My plaiting was kind of what not to do in terms of feeding from each side and all that drama. Oh yeah, again places. Yeah, if I was going on, I probably would have to fluff it because it's just so, uh, I pretty much don't have that much volume, it's so defined. Which is kind of wild for me, I don't usually have to worry about volume. But I am actually a little concerned about volume right now. Souffle is a very forgiving, beginner friendly souffle. I should have looked up some fluffing videos because I probably will need to fluff a little bit. Okay, this is it. Good braiding skills not required. Definitely moisturize, shiny, great definition, <laughs> great hold. So it's kind of like a foot thing. Twisting souffle, and I'm giving credit to the twisting souffle, but of course the DC was great and the leave-in was great and both helped towards the success, you know? The last person through the, last person across the finish line north always gets the credit, but what do you guys think? Looking good. Okay, <laughs> so turn it around, I guess. All right, <laughs> and now I guess you guys want me to transform it into something magical, and I totally lack the skill for that. I mean, you all seen it, right? So everything after this is my fault and not the product's fault. <laughs> um, but let me let me try and do a little little bit of separating, which I don't. I'm not good at at all. all right, so let's see. Oh Jesus. <laughs> so I'm able to twirl the first bit I separate, but the second bit is just kind of, you know, like when you pull, you twirl, let's use both hands, okay. Learning as I go. <laughs> okay, my toilet skills are coming in handy here. Improved. Oh my god, okay, this is a panic. This, this is... <laughs> wow, I mean, you know, for a first attempt to fluff, this is why I don't fluff part one. 
I'm too like I said it's not so good it was. Okay, let me know. <laughs> I might be good at this. Okay. I'm just gonna do the other side because it's like being even. So I can tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm only frizzing a lot, trying to fluff it. Well, <laughs> I'm glad I showed you the before, but I'm glad I went for it, you know. And I like it. I mean, I, it's not the best separation. And like I said, I really want to cut to kind of even up the back and all. But I do like it. What do you guys think? I like it. Maybe I would like a more, more braid and less tweed just to give it a more even thing. Cause I find like I like the top more than the bottom and I like braid outs usually so I don't know but overall I like it overall I like it and definitely I love the product so let me know what you guys think and let me just get into showing you more about the product okay products so I love for the deep conditioner the moisture mask And the ingredients are pretty simple, but it does have everything you need for moisture. Coconut milk, I, my hair likes. Aloe vera, always good as a conditioning agent for me. And then the glycerin just gives you that extra moisture. I shampooed it like twice, just trying to get my hair clean. And then this brought me right back like, yes. Like no struggle at all. Great slip moisture, everything after. So definitely recommend this moisture mask. I bought this thinking it might be kind of like a she scented dupe, but it's not really. I would almost say it's kind of closer to Eden if it was like good, like a good version of Eden, like moisturizing, but similar kind of textures and feels to Eden. And then the ingredients are kind of similar to Eden Body Works as well. So I'd probably send it more in that direction actually, but definitely a winner. So then we have the leave-in. I didn't get to really rate this per definition because I didn't do a wash and go, but for Moisture, softness, and so on, definitely yes. So I'm gonna try it again with the wash and go because I'm gonna do a wash and go and then I'll get back to you further on the leave in. But so far, so good. My hair is definitely moisturized, so we're winning on that. And again, they pretty much keep it simple glycerin, coconut milk, and aloe vera. And of course, I guess this is my favorite. I mean, the deep conditioner is really good too. So definitely I would purchase the deep conditioner. The leave-in, I mean, I definitely love, but since I'm a wash and go girl, I really have to do the wash and go and then give you a final on it. But the souffle, I think was amazing. Just in terms of that moisture definition and hold, even despite my chaos <laughs> with the separating, I can still see holes. So yeah. And let me show you the ingredients for the souffle. I don't see coconut milk in this one, but it definitely has the aloe vera and the glycerin and the hydroxylethyl cellulose for hold, which was far enough down and just on top of enough moisture and stuff, but it didn't bother me. So I didn't feel like I had to re-wet my hair or anything funky at all. So definitely like this. This could even maybe do a wash and go. Twist and braid for extra definition, but definitely the definition is there as well as the moisture. So this I think was my favorite product just because maybe I'm not used to using souffles, so I'm like totally blown away or because it was really good. But this is the one that I'll be reaching for, be purchasing, I wanna try it as a wash and go, I wanna try it all well, how, this. I do have the styling jelly as well to try. So I'll be doing a wash and go with this soon, looking forward to that. And I have this butter, moisture butter as well, which I'll probably try like under if I'm using some crunchy gel or something. So this one doesn't have any whole ingredients, it just has the like, aloe vera, coconut milk, etc. but no whole ingredients. So, yeah. Twist, braid, tweed, the girl did it, so the, and I'm happy. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you learned more about these Ujuri products. 
Um, let me know if you've tried it or if you're interested in trying it down below. And just try with my code to see if it still works. I don't know if it still works or not, but hopefully it does. And if not, just get them or wait for the next sale up to you. But in terms of did they work, they definitely worked. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.